Dude, pare, what's up? How is it going? My name is Ronnie and welcome to my nook. So today, we are actually leaving in a few minutes. Uh, I have a scheduled appointment at UVPGH Manila for a plasma donation. And I'd like to take you guys with me on that uh, particular journey, but I'm not sure if we'll be allowed to do some recordings inside hospital premises, as I've known it's been restricted due to privacy concerns. But uh, we'll see. But before we go, safety is always top priority. So face mask, face shield, and the personal alcohol. So you guys ready? Let's do this. All right, it's been a few days since I've donated plasma and unfortunately I wasn't able to get some footage that I could be able to show to you guys. Uh, but the doctor in charge did allow me to take a photo of me still strapped in the extraction machine that uh, I can still show you guys. And that's it right there. And uh, yeah. All right. Also, along with that is the final product, which is the liquid gold right there. So, yep, I know what it looks like, and the doctors did mention that if ever I do post to social media to say that that's not pee. Yeah, it's plasma, which is a liquid gold guaranteed. That is convalescent plasma. Convo what now? Convalescent plasma therapy uses blood from people who have recovered from an illness to help others still suffering from the same illness recover. Convalescent plasma is the plasma removed from a blood of a person who has recovered from a sickness or disease that is then transfused into a patient still fighting the disease. Confused? Let me break it down to you on what you need to know about convalescent plasma and why it's important right now. Okay. First, what exactly is plasma? Plasma is the liquid part of your blood which is composed of 92% water. It is colored yellow. It accounts for about 55% of your blood, with the remaining 45% being the red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Oh good, you're here. And who are you? I'm the guy who will explain some of the more sciencey stuff. Right. According to science, when your body is exposed to a foreign pathogen, say a virus, your body's defense mechanism is to fight off the disease by producing your own armies of antibodies. And those antibodies are found in the plasma. Once you've recovered from this disease or covalesced, those antibodies stay in your plasma for some time and is ready to fight the same virus if it comes back. The length of time varies and each virus requires its own antibodies. And what's with the outfit? Oh that, it just makes me sound more credible. Right on. And here's the thing, the antibodies in the plasma can fight for other people. Covalescent plasma can be extracted from a recovered patient and be transfused to another patient still suffering from the disease. But does it work? Yes, it has worked for certain diseases. Doctors have been using convalescent plasma therapy to fight diseases for patients as far back as the Spanish flu in 1918. More recently, the procedure has been used for patients with Ebola, SARS, and H1N1. But does it work for COVID? Honestly, we still don't know. Definitely it's not an all be all miracle drug that would kill off the virus once it's introduced into the system of a patient. 
doctors are still studying if the convalescent plasma therapy will help those patients still battling the COVID-19. And that it's simply too soon to know if it conclusively works or not. So, why am I heavily invested in this? Not only as a survivor, but because I have lost a family to this disease. My father's elder sister passed away after a two-week battle with the disease in the U.S. last December 2020, which is why I made it a personal advocacy so that others may not have to go through the same ordeal. If you have had a positive COVID test, have survived the virus, and is 14 days symptom-free, then consider donating plasma. The 90 minutes it takes for you to complete the donation procedure is the 90 minutes that could give someone else a fighting chance against COVID-19. Donate now and possibly help save lives. And that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. Leave a comment down below, hit like and subscribe, and smash that notification button. And I'll see you next time.